Hey guys, this is Chosen Architect, and welcome back to episode two. Uh, and today we're going to be, uh, let's see, setting up a mining world and getting further in the pack. All right, so before we do anything, I needed to get some stone cooking up, which I have some cooking up right there. And I also need to go ahead and get a bed since it is nighttime right now. And I do believe that the nighttime is the same um, in the mining world as well as in this world. Um, so they also hold the same time. The problem is you can't sleep in the mining world. So uh, we're gonna need some wool. I did install mouse tweaks, so this is really handy. Um, mouse tweaks basically allows you to do things like scroll your mouse wheel to move items from your uh, from one inventory to another and then also allows you to hold down shift and just basically empty the uh, the contents of another chest into your inventory um, I don't know how much that affects the uh, you know the mod but the, the mod pack but I really uh, do love those uh, those mods and they really do help me as a creator so Having those is going to help. Also, I installed Chunk Animator. Now, that does nothing but animate the way chunks move in and out. Um, I thought it would be really nice to have in this pack, um, since we are going to have a mining world and stuff. So, it's going to look pretty different. I don't know if you've seen the mod pack Sprout, but Sprout uses that, uh, that mod. Um, so, I decided I was going to try it out for myself. And uh, it actually does look pretty nice. So, we're going to see it. All I did was uh, change a few things in the config. And uh, in the config, you can basically set the duration of the animation and the different types of animations. And I chose a sign animation and uh, an ad uh, animation duration of uh, basically like, it says 1000 to start with, so I set it to 2000, basically doubling it and uh, it does look really good. Okay, so let's look at this. Um, there is, let's see. We're gonna aroma, I think is what it's called. Aroma. Yeah, it's aroma. So it's called Aromas 1997's Dimensional World. Um, and we need to make a mining multi tool. And uh, that is pretty simple. You need flint, a uh, stone pick, a stick, um, some cobblestone. So uh, two cobblestone. And we need a piece of wood, or basically a stick. Oh, we got sticks on us. So I'm not too concerned about that. Um, but we're going to need actually two because we're going to need this. Okay. All right. I think that's everything we need. Um, so we need a pick for sure. Just a regular stone pickaxe. Really cheap actually to get a mining world up and running. Um, because all you need is some stone brick. Um, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll set this up. I'm pretty sure I can... Just, oh, I need flint. One piece of flint. I do have flint. Okay. And bam. We have the mining multi-tool, and we can take this. And honestly, we only need, uh, I do believe, eight. Uh, to set it up. I think it's eight. I could be wrong. Um, it's the same number that you would need, need for a actual portal to the nether. And uh, I think we could probably set it up over here somewhere. Um, I would kind of like it to be out of the way, but, you know, up against the house is not going to be that big of a deal. It doesn't actually make any noise, so that is a plus. But it is a awkward, um, awkward shape, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and set it right here. Let's go ahead and uh, we can chop these down. Let's see, that'd be four. I can leave the corner pieces and uh, basically have it fill this spot right here. So it's gonna go like this and down below, just like that. And there'll be two down here, up like this, and it should be a couple up here. Awesome. Um, that should actually work out pretty good. Okay, so we do need two more. So you need ten in total. I should have remembered that. Um, you only need ten. Uh, but we could probably do it in our... There we go. 
two of those guys and we are rocking to get uh, to a mining world really fast. I've definitely done this in uh, FTB Beyond. Um, and then you take your mining tool. Oh, I threw it down. Uh, you take your mining tool and you basically click on it. There it is. All right, let's take our mining tool. We should be able to click and bam, we have a portal now. Um, through the portal, you have to uh, you have to sneak in it. Um, so we have a way into the portal, and there's a way out once we get there. So I'm not too worried about that. Um, everything else in here, I'm not too worried about. Uh, but it is daytime. I would like to make a bed. I was meant I meant to make a bed sooner. Um, just in case we die, we have a spawn point set here that way we don't have to go all the way back. So three and three. And then we should have our bed. Perfect. Okay. Your bed, you know what? You can go right here. A new spawn point has been set. That's exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, so we have that done. Now we can hop into here. Uh, do I have my iron pick? I do. And hopefully we can find some surface stuff that we can mine up. So, as you can see, the, look how it animates in. So that's that's the animator. Um, and wow, this is a, uh, a different kind of mining world. So, the top layer is grass. I'm used to it being stone. Um, so let's go ahead and open up our map. I would like to see what what actual button it is because you never know. Let's uh, let's go under controls, and we're gonna go under our map settings. I think I looked at these last time, and they were something totally different. All right, journey map. Um, full screen map is J. Why J? Is M taken? Yes, it is. So J, journey map. I'll have to remember that. J for journey map. Okay, so we have this big open area here. Looks like we have some uh, some caves. A lot of animals here. So we can definitely do some killing there. Get us some more stuff. We have some mobs as well. Yeah, it's a nice flat area. So that's actually going to be really useful later on if we plan on uh, using this here. Um, so yeah, let's set a new waypoint. And we'll call it um, spawn on the mining world location anyways. Like every world has its own set of things. And we'll set it to blue just like the aroma color itself. There we go. And we can go adventure. Let's actually, uh, we, you know, we can get us some animals. Oh, we have access to lava. That's really nice. I'll take another bucket of that. Why don't you? Um, so that's super, super cool. Um, that's really nice about this uh, big open area. But I did see there was some... Um, you know, we don't have any food on us, so we might actually want to take some pigs. Thank you. And uh, there's some pumpkin. So we have access to pumpkin pretty quick. So this is not too bad. This is, you know, I... Um, being told in the comments this pack is uh, is pretty tough, um, but I think it's gonna be tough later on, more than it is tough at the moment. Um, I could be probably breaking grass while I'm out here. I don't know why I'm not doing that? Picking up all those goodies so we can start a farm early on as well. Um, that was Pam's harvest craft. I really didn't mean to hit that. Uh, it would be nice if we could. Oh, I wanted to check some stuff. Is um. I, I know we're going to probably have to start with immersive engineering. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, I really... It's like every time I go to get into immersive engineering, I'm not forced to stay on it. And I would love to actually work through the immersive engineering uh, mod and uh, get through a few things. But is... Um, let's see... What do we have here? Progressive automation is in here. So I didn't I didn't actually know that. That is familiar because that was an invasion. Um and it didn't make sense to me in invasion, especially the miner. 
Uh, but it is in here. Is what am I looking for? Um, the generators. Okay, so we do have extra utilities. That's kind of what I was wondering: is is extra utilities in this pack? And it is. Okay, it looks like they made the even the culinary generator tougher. Um, it actually requires beetroot, broccoli from calculator, and rice from actually additions, which is totally new. Um, and the furnace, is, that's actually pretty easy to make. That's the same recipe. Oh. Um, I don't remember that requiring stone burnt or an iron casing from actually additions. Okay, now I see where they're saying it gets tougher. Okay, that makes total sense to me um, now that I see that. All right, we can uh, we can definitely get a lot of this stuff. We're gonna need a few things. What is this? Um, rice seeds, perfect. There's a rice for actually additions. You know what, I thought we were gonna find like an actual, oh, there we go. Ooh, I don't think we can do that though. Um, we could probably mine down there. Ooh, there's a creeper. Uh, that's not fun. We have really no armor to really protect ourselves. And I'm afraid. Yep. Oh, yeah, that was not good. Okay, we'll eat some. He's gone. He did not clear a very good path for us. There is a tree down there. Okay. So if we kind of light the area up a little bit, um, mobs do tend to not spawn so much. Like, they'll only spawn so many. Yeah, it's just like its own little cave system. Whoa. That's kind of cool. Do you see an Enderman? All right, what do we got going on here? We got a open, like open area with trees. Kind of different. We don't really have any other way of like protecting ourselves. And take some of the cobblestone. Oh, what's he got? He is definitely more armored up than I am. And I don't think I can reach him. Yeah, definitely not going to be able to reach him. Um, hopefully he, he isn't resistant to some knockback because that would be not good at all. Ooh, and I hear a skeleton. I don't know where the skeleton was, though. Hi, zombie. Um, can I come near you? Thank you. Alright. I actually went closer. Um. Yeah, he is kind of resistant to knock back. Ow. Ow, even more? Come on, you're not gonna kill me here. Thank you. Um, I need to eat. So, this is pretty cool. It's like a, a little underground oasis. I think this, I can't remember exactly what mod this is that does this. That brings this, uh, that kind of does this little thing right here. Uh, putting actual grass and everything underground. But this is actually really, really nice. Okay, I'm, I was looking for certain ores, and I'm not seeing them. So what's the point of having the mining world? Can't, okay, so there's some ore up there. But it's kind of out of the way. And here's some uh, copper. Which I'm sure we're going to need a bunch of copper anyways. So we might as well get as much as we can. Okay. Well, 
let's go ahead and find some more stuff. Oh, you know what? Right as I come up from this side, I actually found what I was looking for. Um, and we actually found a resonating crystal, which uh, I kind of don't want right now, but we do know they're here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I'm kind of looking for bauxite. I do know there's some at the house. Oh, I see some. I, I really see some some good stuff here. Okay. So we have Sardis Quartz. That's really nice. I see you, skeleton. How you doing? Thank you. I will take everything you got. Alright, I'm gonna light up as much of this as I can. That way. Ooh, did I hear a witch? I don't know what that is. There's some strange noise going on. Yeah, that's definitely a witch. Oh, snap. That's a witch. Ow. Ow. Yeah, we're, we're probably definitely dead. There's no way. Oh, man. Yeah, there, how are we supposed to do this? Okay, so we have the witch. We have no means of food. Um, we're going to have to mine around uh, because it didn't actually look like her uh, potion was going to kill me. But we might encounter our first death. <laughs> already, already counting our first death. Um, oh, man. Or I got resistance as well. Oop. Yep. Okay. Come at me, bro. Instantly take the healing potions, though, as soon as I hit. So there's no no sense. Let's just try. Come on. Hit me with the hit me with that again. Come on. Gotcha. Ah, oh, with little to spare. Um. Nothing but rotten flesh to eat. And that's hopefully going to heal us a little bit while we have the time. Um, let's go ahead and mine. Um, if we need be, we probably should just go up um, before we completely lose everything. There's the bauxite. Good. We have exactly what I needed. The bauxite is definitely what I need. And... Uh, this will get us into being able to make casts so we can make hammers and stuff. Um, or make, make uh, tinker's tools. Because of this at the moment is not very good. But there is a lot of stuff down here, so I do know I need to mark this. Um, where did I come from, by the way? Here. Okay. If I get this all nice and lit up, I should not have to worry too much. Not mobs. Yeah, one more torch. Where do I want to use it? I don't know. Let's head back up, though. That was rough. We almost died. That <laughs> we almost died right away. Um, okay, we can clear this out, and I will set a marker. And this is a pretty decent cave to go mining. Um, we will need to dig a little bit deeper and hopefully get some diamond. Um, some diamond would be nice. Come here. You're my next victim. And uh, we'll definitely do that. So, all right, I'm going to head back and uh, I'll see you guys there. All right, so we should be able now to make some casting. Um, so let's look at our casting. And I kind of want to 
get into this, but we need some iron. I don't think we can double the iron, so I don't know really why we'd want to cast an ingot when we can cast an entire block. Um, but we do need to make some of the casts so we can start making Tinker's Tools. Um, and the cast is not Molten Gold. I don't know why this recipe even shows. Um, but I do believe it's Brass. Um, we can take a look at our guide. And uh, the Stone Age, it does say... Um, where is it at? Right here. Uh, bauxite equals aluminum. So bauxite ore is aluminum. Um, you get... Or you can uh, you can make aluminum brass. Uh, to mine bauxite ore, you need a pickaxe, which we've done. Uh, to make an iron pickaxe head, blah, blah. Okay, so... I think... The... Aluminum brass recipe... If I can see... There it is. Um, three buckets of molten aluminum, or three millibuckets to one millibucket of copper. So I'm going to say three of these bauxite ore to one copper ore should get, should mix and make us a certain amount of that. Um, so, okay, bauxite goes really fast, and that's aluminum. And that is... Three ingots and 400. Okay, is that 432? That seemed like a really weird recipe. Okay, what is going on? Okay. Oh, so it takes time now. So now we have four ingots of molten brass, and I think each cast takes two, um, if I do remember correctly. So I might just want to do that again. And uh, we're going to need cast for some tools. And we're also going to need a bunch of these guys. You know what, let's just take this whole thing. Um, let's make some sticks. And we're going to make... some blank patterns. We'll make as many as we can, that's fine. All right, we'll put it in stencil table. Um, I do want to make a iron pick that I can hopefully make faster sooner. Um, and there's a few things that we can do to make it nicer. Um, but at the moment, there's really not too many materials that I have. Um, it's just having an iron pick would actually uh, I can do probably iron. Let's do materials. Let's take a look at this real quick. All right, materials in you. So we've already made the smeltery. So there's different materials that you can make stuff out of. And luckily it does tell you over here uh, what they actually do. Uh, which is really nice. This book is actually super nice. Um, so I'm looking for speed and durability. Um, for an early pick. Um, iron is going to be for our speed and durability. That's a speed of 6. A durability of 550. Okay. Um, so we could just make it entirely out of... Out of uh, iron. Uh, giving the materials that we have. Uh, which would be fine for now. We can always swap them out later. Um, and I don't know if that leveling system is in here uh, as well. So let's go ahead and get us a cast for... Um, you know what? Let's see. So tool station. Tool forge. I don't think we can craft a tool forge yet. So we have to get into industrial craft. Oh man. We have to have a compressor for industrial craft. And we need the seared bricks. Okay, so the compressor from industrial craft. And we need steel. Which we get from 
uh, immersive engineering. Okay, so we cannot do any of that, so we definitely need a regular pick. Um, and I would like to make a mat lock um, eventually. But let's work on a pick first with uh, Tigger's Construct. And uh, this will be pretty easy to make. We just need this guy, pick head. And we're going to need a uh, binding pattern. And we'll also need a tool rod. Okay. And we'll come over here. And actually, I don't know if we can use iron. Can we use iron? No. We have to actually smelt these things. Or make castings for them. Um, that's where the cobblestone comes in handy. Or comes in. Uh, we'll take cobblestone. And I know these, does, these don't cost very much to actually make these things. So we'll get this. This guy. And this guy. And we're going to need to make a cast for each. And we where to call some? There it is. Okay. And let's go ahead and get our cast going. We're gonna want to cast this, and there's nothing else in here but the uh, aluminum brass. So let's go ahead and cast a rod. There was eight in here. Let's make sure it does use two. They may no, it just uses one. That's even better. Okay, so we have that. Um, it also gets rid of the, uh, the current item that you have. So, that's pretty nice. I do know quite a bit about Tinkers, um, especially through playing Beyond. Especially the up update. I learned a bit. So, that's nice. We, uh, we only use one out of that. So, we can actually throw our iron in. And I don't actually know how much this material is going to cost. Okay, two, two iron for the head. You know what? Well, I don't know why we're re-smelting this. Let's take that out. Um, we need to throw our iron in there. Let's throw as much as we can. And we do have access to more lava, so I'm not too worried about that. And uh, getting a bucket is not going to be too hard. Neither is getting barrels. Um, I'm sure there's uh, some kind of uh, bucket or barrel or... There's a metal barrel... I don't know if the items can be moved in them, though. Um, there is... Tank? Uh, tanks. Um, a basic fluid tank is super cheap, so that's not too bad. And I, these do move. Um, that holds 16, or that holds 8 buckets. This one uses some gold, which I haven't actually seen any gold yet. So I'm hoping that's not going to be too too bad. Alright, so now we have our cast. And we can start making this thing. Uh, we are almost uh, to the point of having this nice pick. So, um, once this is done, swap this out. Bam. Um, let's take a look again. Alright, it says, um, Then the first goal of Tinker's Smeltery, I uh, usually need to gather clay, sand and gravel. Okay, we've already done that. Um, we do need to build a coke oven, um, and that's for, uh, getting creosote oil and stuff. So, it says, uh, coke bricks need seared bricks and lava wood, which you get by pouring lava over wood planks with the smeltery. By pouring lava over wood planks with the smeltery. You need 27 blocks. Okay, so firewood? Is that what it was? Firewood. Or lava wood? Lava wood, that's what we needed. Okay, so you that okay, so that's not that bad. Consumes cast. Oh yeah, it consumes your your wood, of course. Okay, that's understandable. And that, that doesn't look too hard to do, actually. Alright. And last but not least, that binding. And I think we will have ourselves a Tinker's Tool. Awesome. We'll come over here and we'll build this thing. Just like that. And it has on it 
what did it say? Right here, uh, magnetic. So basically, it'll, when we mine items, it's going to pull the items towards us. Um, that modifier is nothing really special. Um, the mining level is up to diamond, um, which is strange. So that means we can mine obsidian with this thing. Mining level diamond. Oh wait, no, it should say mining level obsidian. Um, right now we can only mine two diamond. Okay, awesome. And uh, I'm gonna throw my uh, my Tinker stuff in here uh, for now. Awesome, it is raining outside. As you can see, but you probably can't hear. Um, yeah. Lovely, lovely rain. Uh, but yeah, we, we got ourselves this pick and it does look like it might level. No, I don't see a level. Oh, it does have the modifier thing. I say, so it has three modifiers by default with no leveling. So we'll have to keep that in mind when we make new tools. But for now we have that. Um, I would like to see uh, eventually how the lava stuff works. I think what you do is you put lava in here. I don't know if you can put lava directly in here or you have to put lava in using the drain. Um, but we'll figure it out and uh, we'll do that next episode. So um, if you guys are enjoying this series, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also click that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell. That helps me out a lot. You guys get to be the first ones to comment down below. Um, and I really appreciate and love seeing the comments. And as always, thanks for watching.